All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over Pinterest ads conversion tracking with Shopify. So basically how to track checkouts on your Shopify website back into your Pinterest advertising account. So I just set it up for this account, so it's showing no conversions yet, but I'll show you how I know it's set up properly, even though I just set it up a couple of days ago. So what you're going to do is you're going to start in your Pinterest ads account. So you want to create a Pinterest business page. And when you create a Pinterest business page, you're going to see an ads account over here. You can just click on overview and you'll see a screen that looks just like this. So the main thing we want to do is we want to click on ads here and we want to come down to conversions. So when we come to conversions, you're going to see something that looks like this. So this is our conversion screen and you can see you're going to have to create a Pinterest tag if you don't have one created already. So we have our Pinterest tag created here and right underneath the tag, you're going to see there's a 13 digit tag ID. Um, it should be 13 digits for you, but it should be just a set of numbers. So eventually we're going to need to copy and paste this tag ID. But for now, what we want to do is we want to open up this page here. So I'll put this URL in the video description, but it's the Shopify and Pinterest tag guide article on the Pinterest help section of their website. So it's a two step process to basically start tracking checkouts on your website. So the first thing you need to do is copy this base code right here. So they have the base code right here. You copy this entire code. So you're going to copy it. You're going to come over to your Shopify website. And what you want to do is go to online store and go to themes. You want to click on actions up here and you want to click on edit code. So what that's going to do is it's going to open up a screen that looks like this. So you want to go into your theme.liquid file here. Um, so on your website, your theme.liquid file and right above the closing head tag here, you want to paste the Pinterest tag. So you can see it starts right here from script type text slash JavaScript all the way down to no script. So that's going to be the entire tag here. And what we're going to do is we're going to come back over to our Pinterest ads account. We're going to copy and paste this tag right here. And what you need to do is come back over to the file and just paste it right here. So instead of saying your tag ID right here, you want to enter your unique Pinterest tag ID there. And then you're also going to use it right here as well. So you're just going to have to change it in those two spots and then click on save. So that's the first thing you need to do to get started. So that's going to be able to track everything that's happening on your websites. You can build remarketing audiences using this tag ID. Um, so that's where you want to get started first. So once we do that, we're going to come back over to the Shopify and Pinterest help article. We're going to scroll down a little bit more and you can see step two is the checkout code. So with the checkout code, what we're going to do is copy and paste this code that they have up at the top here. So you just copy the entire code here. And what we do is we're going to come back over to our Shopify website. We're going to come to settings. So we click on settings and then we click on checkout. So once we do that, it's going to open up a page that looks like this. So you can see right under the order processing part of the checkout page. So what you do is settings, checkout, and then scroll down to order processing on the checkout page. We're going to scroll down here and you can see we've copied and pasted it right here. So you can see it's the same exact code. So it starts or this is the bottom of it right here. And then as we scroll to the top, so right here is the top. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come back over to Pinterest ads again. We're going to copy and paste our tag ID one more time and we're going to come back over to this page. So anywhere where you see your tag ID right here, we're going to get rid of this. So we're just going to get rid of it and you're going to enter your tag ID. So whatever your tag ID is there, you want to make sure you enter the proper tag ID. So we're going to scroll down a little bit. There's a few different places where you need to change it. Uh, so here's another one. So you're just going to replace this right here with your tag ID. And then we're going to keep scrolling down. There's one more. So you replace it right here. Now what that's going to allow you to do is track every checkout that's happening on your Shopify website. So the last thing I'm going to show you is we're going to come back over to Pinterest ads one more time. So again, we're on the conversions page here. And if you click on see history here under event history, so what we're going to do is we're going to open that page here. And what you can see is the events that it's recorded over the last 24 hours. So the base code has had 105 events here and then checkout. So you can see order quantity, currency, value, and order ID has had three events over the last 24 hours. So as we continue to build up more and more data, Pinterest will be able to track these conversions on our website and we're going to be able to optimize our campaigns for them on Pinterest advertising. So I'll go through a little bit more of that in the future, but this is how to set up Pinterest ads conversion tracking on your Shopify website. Pretty simple. You just take some code, you put it in your header file on your theme.liquid file. And then the next thing you need to do is take the code that they have here and you put it right on your checkout page so that every checkout that happens, Pinterest ads can track it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. 
Okay, just a quick disclaimer. So all of these videos are being done on behalf of a client, zerocompressionbackbrace.com. So there's certain information I'm not going to show to you uh, in terms of sales data and things like that. Now, if you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comment section. But because this client has allowed me to create videos using their website and using their advertising accounts, it allows me to release these videos for free rather than giving you a paid course. So if you do need a back brace, go to zerocompressionbackbrace.com. Otherwise, keep watching our Shopify videos. Thank you for watching our videos. And now back to it.